But I think some cells, you know, you know what, chat? This thing could, if it decides to melt right now, I think this is a really good trade to just melt off because, you know, you're going to have one profit target over here. And then once it gets through 24.99, you're going to have another profit target down here by like 24.96. So this second range here is going to be worth about like, you know, 25 pips. So that's how the trade idea here looks. And that's a potential for the move right there. Markets can keep moving much further than we would like to think. You know, we've already had one, two, three, four, five bearish candlesticks in a row. But to be honest, you know, okay, it increased the probability maybe of some retracement, but I would not be surprised to just see markets continue moving in one direction. Look at the way GJ just closed here at 191.432 chat. That's a really crappy close on GJ. You see, this is why it's important to follow your rules chat. On GJ, I felt more comfortable with GJ, correct? I wanted to get a GJ position, but look at the way it sort of invalidated itself. And the one I was not comfortable with, look at the way it's playing out right now. The one I was not comfortable with. So this is really important over here. So pay attention here, chat, because this is how the markets work. And TP2 just got smashed over here. So we're down by uh, $24.99. Beautiful. <laughs> 24.99 here has been hit now for anything past this zone that's just gonna be like extra profits for you chat as i did mention like you have a range below that area and it's going to be worth like you know about 24 pips so right now we just pushed down around a 15.7 pips but you got another range over here so this is gonna be like bonus so what you can do is like secure something at least like secure something from here if you're planning on holding it down towards that next support on pound yen this thing's not moving anywhere so yeah as i said like this is why it's really important to always follow your rules even if you feel afraid about a trade so this is a perfect example here of why you should never buy lows and sell highs because price can just keep moving in one direction much longer than you think it would even right here you know price is still moving down it could still continue to move down bearish and if you take a buy here and it does continue to move down bearish man you're gonna feel really bad because theoretically speaking you could have just taken a sell anywhere and made some profits so yeah i think like this was a very good example of this of how your trading plan despite of how you feel keeps you in these trades because because sometimes the more riskier trades are the safer trades to actually be executing on. Whereas for me, GJ was looking more structurally nicer over here. It's not even moved. I would have missed this move and that would have been affecting my psychology. I'd be thinking, man, I wish I took this move. Like, look at this. This played out. This was part of my plan. Then I'm going to start playing the victim. And that's what we all do because we're too afraid to execute because we're trying to play it safe. We think like this is safe and we think this is risky. 24.96.73. Beautiful here, guys. Perfect. Perfect, 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 perfect. That's a trade right there, chat. That's the whole move.